tunnel of death. See how well it works. Yes! <laughs> the floor is going nuts! Alright guys, today we are in Cincinnati, Ohio at the Eastgate Mall. Cincinnati, Ohio. And we are gonna go in here and see if we can find this elusive Spirit Halloween. We thought it was right down there in the abandoned Sears, but it's not. So we're gonna go right through these doors and see if we can find it. Do you know where the Spirit Halloween is, sir? No? Okay. Yikers, look at this place. I do love me a dead mall, but that's not what we're here for today. Today we are here to find the Spirit Halloween in the dead mall. Look at this. Dang, this takes me back to my roots of filming dead malls and abandoned retail. But that's not what we're here for. Again, down here on the left you can see the Spirit Halloween. Right next to the abandoned Sears. Wait a minute, what in the world did I just spy over here? Look at this. It's a bunch of Spirit stuff in this other abandoned store. What the heck? I wonder if this was going to be where they were sta where they were setting up first and then they decided to do it across the street. Or maybe this is just like all their inventory and they're working through it over here to get it in the store over there. Oh my gosh, cuz there's the store right over there and here is all the inventory and I see a Mr. Dark. Holy crap, I also see a nozzles in there. There's all kinds of stuff. I just want to go in there and look. All right, let's go on down here, straight into the Spirit Halloween, where I already hear Lucky Bottoms making a racket. Can you hear him? Okay, let's go ahead in, guys. I am excited to see what we find here. And of course, front and center, we see Lord Raven just waiting for us quietly and patiently. Let's get him going here. He's not very loud, and I still hear Lucky Bottoms down here. Oh, I see him going crazy over here. I can hear him louder than Lord Farquaad here. In fact, let's go ahead down here and start with him. Give him a little bit of attention because he's down here begging and screaming and crying and laughing. Hello, Mr. Bottoms. Look at that, he is on just a one constant cycle of crazy laughter. I didn't even know you could actually set them up to do that, just to run on a constant cycle. Or is he truly possessed? I guess we'll never know. All right, let's see if we can get Bag of Bones going here. Are you gonna jump at us? Okay, here's a foot pad. Yeah, <laughs> that was him. He's got his greeniness going. Excuse me, sir, could you please shut up for a minute? I'm gonna be all laughed out by the time I get out of this store. And let's come over here and take a look at Crazy Nozzles. I've been making posts about his crazy hair. Look at this, he has just like one crazy strip of hair on this one. This looks like the granny hairdo right here. <laughs> all right, let's get him going here. I just moved with Halloween spirit. I also he is so crazy. Okay, so every store that I go in, he has an absolutely crazy hairdo. There's always one clown that has this crazy hair and nobody in the store can really figure out just how to do it right. I remember when it was that way with Pennywise, but this guy right here, we've been documenting. We've been taking pictures in all the stores of the crazy hairdos that he has. And if you go to the Spirit Halloween page on Facebook, I put a link below. You can check out the thread for yourself and add your own pictures. And don't forget that jalapeno nose. <laughs> All right, we gave them some attention. Let's go on back up here, guys, and see who we missed. All right, let's get this guy going here. There you go. And 
And we got Mr. Grimm here. Let's get him going. Oh my gosh, guys, do you realize we're gonna have to hear Lucky Bottoms this entire video? <laughs> you know, in these smaller stores where they don't have the whole setup, but they do have this thing here with the window, I wish they would put another kind of animatronic or something inside the middle there so he would be going crazy. They could turn something else on to run constant instead of this crazy fellow. All right, let's head back over this way for a minute and go through the experimental tunnel of death. See how well it works. Yes! <laughs> the floor is going nuts! And so is the electricity! Holy crap! This floor is going absolutely ballistic, man! What in the world? That is the craziest floor ever! That was so loud! And here we go to do it again. Look at this. This one I can feel just vibrating. You can hear it buzzing. But this one, oh my gosh. What the heck? <laughs> it's rattling my brain. Oh my gosh, that's completely insane how loud that is. I can't even stand on there to show you what's going on on the screens here because it's so loud. Uh, let's make our way out here where I see there's a whole stack of awesome animatronics for sale. Look at this. Holy crap, guys. They got a lot of stuff in here. We got little skelly bones, which I bought the other day. We have a Mr. Dark. We have a fogging skull pile and a nightcrawler who needs the Aquafresh. Bunch of sinister spirit dolls, a couple of sitting scarecrows, pose and stay skeletons, and a couple of Lord Ravens. Oh, and a couple of berries over here too. Did we determine if his name is Barry or Barry because of the bars? Oh my gosh, that floor in there totally rattled my brain. Did it rattle your brain? <laughs> I cannot get over these cats, guys. I love them so much. I think I need to buy one and live stream with him. They have lots of inflatables here. I'm still on the lookout for that one that we saw in the New Jersey store. But let's go ahead and leave some stickers. Listen to that. There's craziness going on in there. Oh my gosh, this is the loudest store yet. Let's leave some stickers for the Sam Groundbreaker. And let's leave some in the witch's cauldrons. And look at this, we have the burrito baby. Let me know if you've bought a burrito baby. Look at the face, look at the teeth on the burrito baby. He's saying, please take me home and adopt me. I'll eat the spiders if you adopt me. I'll eat the rats. And I'll eat your brain. Oh, they have two of the universal masks that I've been looking for. I've seen them in several stores, but I haven't bought them yet. They don't have the Sam animatronic set up this year, but they do have this big hanging Sam, and they have a couple of these. There's also a new one of him by a streetlight or something, but I have not seen him in any stores except for maybe the flagship store. We have a couple of creepy dolls available here. We have Eerie Emma, and we have the decrepit haunted doll, and the vintage clown doll. Wow! Now that is in the pile of <laughs> What in the world? This guy only has one eye. I think he needs to go to the optometrist. Okay, I haven't yet looked to see if they have any of the scream masks I've been looking for, so let's go on over here. Hello, pupster. All right, I think we're about to be disappointed because there is like no ghost face stuff over here at all. A couple of masks, one of these uh, chokers and some socks. That's it. So it must be on the next delivery. We do have Monty. However, he's not working today. Hello, mister. We'll be back to see you another time. I do like this Gremlins lunchbox, though. Look at this. I love the colors on that. Yellow, orange, red, and green. That is awesome. Oh, and look at the plush Zero. I had not seen him before. Wait a minute. He's got a try me button somewhere. Try me. I light up. Um, I mean, there's something in his ear there. Oh, there we go. Hmm, okay. Not working, but... Oh, yes, it is! Look at his little pumpkin nose! That is so awesome! I love Zero! And they have a lot of these plush blankets, but I've only seen the new ones in a couple stores. The Nightcrawler and... Who is the other one? Um... Oh, Crouchy. Crouchy was the other one that they had in the other stores, but I don't see him in here or, like, the past couple stores I've been in either. 
Let's leave some stickers for the bog zombie. And let's leave some for Grim. And yes, let's leave some for this crazy fellow. Oh look, they have two Chuckies that I almost missed. I'm seeing these in a lot of stores this season. Oh my gosh, guys, yes. This is one thing that I have been looking for that I am going to buy. The Ghost Face Bobblehead. Excuse me, sir, I'm trying to talk about Ghost Face over here. Anyways, Ghost Face. Yeah, here's the new shirts, the ones that I was just talking about that you can find on the throw blankets, Crouchy and Nightcrawler, but they don't have those blankets here. I should get some of these to put on the back window of the Hummer. All right, guys, that's it for the Cincinnati Spirit Halloween. I did buy the Ghost Face bobblehead. Stick around and see more and where I go. Mm -hmm.